Hi, so now I'm going to start my task five, that is uh, creating a reverse shell using TCP uh, hijacking attack. So this is my user, we are user machine. This one is my server machine and this is my uh, attacker machine. My IP address for user is 10.0.2.6. Uh, uh, for server, it is 10.0.2.4 and then the attacker is 10.0.2.5. Uh, first of all, I will be creating a, a telnet a connection between from my user to server using a telnet. So, telnet ten point. So as you can see over here, now I'm uh, I have create successfully created a connection with my server. I can also show using I. I have config. So this is actually my server's IP address. So I am successfully connected. Now I will be creating a telnet server, uh, starting a telnet server in my attacker machine. This is the command to uh, start a telnet server. So now it's listening all the uh, all their packets. Now I will, uh, sorry. Uh, now over here, uh, I will uh, I will open a new terminal in my attacker PC and then uh, start catching the packets that are uh, transferred uh, between user and ser uh, server. For that, I will be using command. So this one is, this is the command for that to uh, cache the packets. This is my, uh, this is my, this is my user IP address. And uh, this one is my server's IP address. So it will cache, start catching the packets that are transferred between them. So now it's catching. So I will just run a simple command LS over here so that we can get, capture some of the packets. I will stop catching the packets now and then open Wireshark to see the uh, recent packets uh, arrived. So now I can see over here. So I will just go to my very last packet and check for it's information like source port and other stuff. So now I will just close this one and then So I have already created a Python uh, Python file for the for creating a, a reverse shell uh, using TCP hijacking attack. So I will just go to my user. In this. So this is my use, uh, Python file for uh, for the attack. In that I will just update the recent packet that I uh, received. So here I am uh, telnetting from my user PC from to server. So uh, my I source IP address will be my user PC's IP address, and then uh, destination IP address will be my uh, uh, will be my server's IP address. And then I will just update all the ports and sequence and acknowledgement numbers. Uh, 
So my source port is four nine eight eight. Destination port is again twenty three. Flag will be a sequence number is three seven nine nine. And then my acknowledge number is one eight eight zero eight three four zero five. So now I will update all the information and then this will this will uh, give an this line will actually uh, create a reverse shell and give an access of uh, uh, access to a attacker uh, of the servers servers machine so now i will just save it and i will again run this file over here so now i will go to again this so as we can see over here the connection was uh, successfully created and I have got access to my servers, uh, servers machine. So that was my task five. I have successfully created the reverse shell.